All right, feminism. Bill, uh, on a recent podcast when discussing stewardesses and air travel, you mentioned that you sometimes thing, I think you meant to say think, feminism is a way for ugly women to get jobs that attractive women used to have. I said that. Why do you guys take anything I say seriously? You understand I'm just riffing for a fucking hour and I'm trying to make you laugh by saying ridiculously over the top things. Somebody's going to write me in a few weeks. Going, hey, Bill, a few weeks ago on your podcast, you suggested turning Buffalo Wild Wings into gas chambers on the night of the Mayweather McGregor fight. Uh, just to let you know, I am a parent. I am not a fight fan, but I do enjoy the fucking <laughs> jalapeno balls, whatever the fuck they're called. At Buffalo Wild Wings. And what if I was there? Anyways, um, I wonder if, okay, you, you, evidently I said that feminism is a way for ugly women to get jobs that attractive women used to have. That's fucking hilarious. I don't necessarily believe that, but there is an element of truth to that. Like, you know, when they always bitching like, you know, Hollywood creates this impossible image of beauty. It's like, no, you can't, you can't. You're, you're, you're a fucking egomaniac. I don't think when I look at a Brad Pitt, whoever the fucking guy is now, Brad Pitt's like in his 50s now, so whoever the fucking shredded, who's the guy from Saved by the Bell, Mario Lopez? You know, when I, don't, when I look at him with his pigment and his fucking abs and all that, I don't fucking go, like, this is an impossible fucking, oh, Jesus. This is an impossible standard for me to, to, to standard for me to hold up to and, and therefore... Mario Lopez shouldn't be on fucking TV anymore. I just understand that, yeah, you know what? On a good day, maybe I'm a six. Okay? That's what I am. Not everybody can bat clean up in the order. Okay? If you fucking bat, Nath, quit your crying and get on base. That's it. Maybe I do believe that on some level. Anyways, I wonder if you know that this is actually Rush Limbaugh's undeniable truth of life number 24, specifically that feminism was established so as to allow unattractive women to access, access to the mainstream of society. <laughs> um, here's the thing. I'm saying this shit. I'm like 90% joking. There's always like an element of truth. That guy, as far as I can tell, because I don't know what his act is. It might all just be an act. You know, so he can he because he is in show business. So I have no idea. It could just be an act. But if you actually truly believe that, I don't. I listen. I don't believe that. Okay. Um, feminism came about because men were not allowing women to pursue their dreams. Okay. But like any cause, any cause for whatever reason along the way, a lot of the times you end up becoming what the fuck you were fighting. Okay. And that's not this unique thought. I realize that's a hacky thought, but it's, it's fucking true. The level of bullying that goes on, on the internet and trying to get people to get fired and trying to create firestorms and trying to, trying to show the power of women by a lot of times attacking people who you're deliberately and knowingly taking what they said out of context and causing them to not have a fucking job is fucking reprehensible, all right? And they, in a lot of ways, do the same reptilian, if the ends justify the means, corporate fucking mentality. Just some of the shit that, that is said out there. Um, yeah, look, I, I don't think that it's actually that, but sometimes I think it's that. You know, there are jobs that you should only get if you're good looking. You know, I, I really believe that. Like, uh, like when, when you, you know, the first person that they're going to fucking walk in the top of your order, you got to go with Ricky Henderson. You know, you got to get somebody who's going to get on base. You're going to put the fucking pitcher up. You know, and I, I feel like I can say this because of how I look. Like, if I ran a company, I'm not putting me on the front desk like I'm the first person you're going to see. <laughs> Why would you do that? We're trying to make money here. You know, I, I don't know. Like high school's over. Look in the mirror. Love yourself. But have a sense of humor about yourself. Know that you're not perfect. And just know that it's okay. And you know what? A lot of times, if you steer into that shit and you have a sense of humor about yourself, you're fun to be around. How many times do I call myself a pasty, bald, freckled fucking jackass? 
telling you, you fucking stare into it and you fucking age gracefully. All right? You start to lose your fucking hair. You just shave your fucking head and just be that guy. And everybody's like, what the fuck? And then, but you know what? You, you deal with it. And then people, fuck, they respect you. Look at this guy. Came down the pike. He didn't even try to shake it off. He took the pitch right to the side of the head. There he is. He's standing on first base. Good for you, you ugly, bald son of a bitch. Right? And this is the thing, too. I know that they need ugly, bald son of a bitches in movies, and I'll just audition for that. At the end of the fucking day, I'm in a movie. Am I really going to complain? You know, I feel that fucking... (laughs) Fucking bald, freckled redhead should be starring in more movies. It's like, oh, yeah, you want to put your money... Put your money where your mouth is. You go finance that fucking movie. Um... Yeah, in a lot of ways, that's one of those things where everybody should get like a uh, a ribbon. I mean, I don't know what the solution is, but you like competition is a good thing, okay? And the best, you know, the best should should win, right? Like I'm 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 all with it as far as everybody should have the same opportunity. But after that, go fuck yourself. Whoever's the best gets it. You know, not like, well, we have enough of these people or enough of those. No, who are the fucking best? Okay. When we have to keep doing that, because at some point, if the aliens aren't already here, they're coming here and we we need to have an all-star fucking team, not a team that makes everybody feel represented. All right. There we go. I hope I explained myself or, you know, I'll I'll know if I'm right if I don't get a call from the Rush Limbaugh show asking me if I want to be a guest. (laughs) 